Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN, and this is a Digital Rebar 4.10 release summary. In this release, we really focus on key attributes of completing the infrastructure as code story. That means working on orchestration features and usability. And it's worth remembering that we made really significant architectural changes in the last two releases, 4.8 and 4.9, where we introduced the concept of blueprints as an alternative for day two operations opposite of workflows. That included adding things like blueprints that allow us to schedule tasks in an ad hoc way, clusters, resource brokers, both of which are resource abstractions that let us manage groups of machines through other systems, and triggers that actually allow us to coordinate and operate from time, webhooks, or events. Really, really significant architectural changes have happened in the last two releases, and this release allowed us to really focus on usability and making sure that those we're servicing our customers in the best possible way. And what that meant was building a set of interactive labs that allowed people to learn infrastructure as code and digital rebar and put all those pieces together. The interactive labs actually give you step-by-step -step guides that take you through using digital rebar interactively, popping up screens and actually guiding you through the process to learn digital rebar concepts inside of digital rebar in quick digestible components. It's a major advancement, not just in digital rebar, but in how infrastructure platforms and products are built in general. I think you'll be impressed not only with the content here, but actually the way the labs are delivered. Another thing we really worked on was helping operators get a better sense of what was going on. We added visualizations that help operators track when tasks are performing well, and then also helping them visualize triggers operational characteristics literally helping them see exactly what's going to happen when a trigger is fired and what side effects it will have. We also added an integrated alerts component that allows operators to warn themselves or other operators when things happen, even when they're not using the UX. This has been a really critical feature for helping bring up and manage infrastructure, doing simple things like telling people they haven't changed their default password or they're running out of disk space. In addition to that, we've worked a lot on the back end. Our customer scale requirements continue to grow and expand. Tens of thousands of machines are being managed in multiple customer environments with global footprints. And so we're always working to improve and enhance the system itself. That means better triggering, improving our air gap installs, parameterizing APIs to allow you to collect parameters, aggregate information, and provide advanced analytics from API queries. We've added an exploratory feature that allows you to proxy a console, so an SSH, RDP, or other type of uh, access system through the digital rebar endpoint, improving security and access to systems. And we've extended our Terraform to take advantage of inherent features in the Terraform system, such as drift detection and automatic linting. Overall, Digital Rebar version 4.10 is a breakthrough in integrated infrastructure as code, truly creating a full stack experience, provisioning, configuration, orchestration, all as an integrated infrastructure as code system. It's a really, really important and breakthrough in how people manage and operate infrastructure collaboratively in a governable, repeatable way. But most important, we've actually just made it much easier to get started. The interactive labs changed the game by making all of this powerful features and functionality more accessible and easier. If you get a chance, please download and install Digital Rebar. You can go through our trial and actually see for yourself exactly how powerful the system is. If you don't have access to resources, give us a shout. We also have managed trials and we can get you started very quickly. Thanks. I'm looking forward to seeing you in our Slack community.